Hey guys, this is Ray here. So back in March 2022, our astronomers discovered a huge comet. At that time, it is quite far from Earth. This comet is big, but it was like four times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. It slowly started coming into the solar system and it is coming really fast. Now in this October, we can actually see that comet uh, barely. We can see it now with our big telescopes. So this is east and if you look towards west, the comet is actually setting in the evening time and it goes into the southern hemisphere slowly uh, then it comes back into the east side in a couple of months and it gets a lot more closer at the time. When it comes closer, it actually passes towards the north and it stays actually in the direction near the polaris for a long time, at least for a few months. So generally when the comets come, they go towards the sun, whether it was east or west, and as they get closer to the sun, they get bright, but we won't be able to see it because they are so close to the sun. But this comet is going to stay in a very favorable orbit for us. So it's going to stay near the Polaris. So we can actually see that comet if it gets even brighter. I'm sure we can see this comet maybe in the month of March next year with binoculars. Uh, maybe we can see it without even binoculars. We need to see. But definitely, it looks like it is going to get bright. So when the these comets have huge, long tails. So if I ask you, if the comet is somewhere near, like our Starlink uh, satellites or the International Space Station, do you know where the tail or how long the tail is going to be? The tail is going to be beyond the moon, maybe between the Earth and the Mars. It's like that long tails this comet has. So these are huge comets. So when we actually take a picture of them, uh, you do see a portion of the trail that is long enough for us to, bright enough for us to take pictures. But generally, the tail actually goes much, much, much further. So they have that gas tail that they keep trailing. I will try to point my RASA 11 telescope and see if I can take few pictures before it sets tonight. Uh, if it is not getting cloudy or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. We need to figure out. It's supposed to be clear night and it doesn't look like one. But anyway, we'll see. But I'll show you the pictures if I take that picture, if I uh, am able to take the picture of this comet, I will we'll keep uh, tabs on this comet. Chances are, I think this comet is going to get very bright next year. So we need to take some decent pictures of this comet. I took one or two pictures the other night and I think it has a little bit of a tail. I can clearly see it. I don't know how fast it is moving. So, let me try it and I'll show you guys that picture. So here is the comet that we are talking about. If we come closer to this comet, right now the comet is over here. And if I progress this as I come along, like for a few more days, let me stop it when it comes closer. Like somewhere end of January, close to the February time frame. It is coming pretty close to the Earth. When it comes closer to the Earth, the distance, as you can see, it is like 0.2 astronomical units. And since this comet is so bright, we should be able to see this comet towards the north side. So it is going to stay near the Polaris. So generally the comets, we don't see them at the Polaris. So it is visible pretty much all night for us. If it gets any bright, I think we'll have an excellent view. 
at least with the binoculars we should be able to see this comet and i sent these comet coordinates to the sequence generator pro and here is the first picture of the comet that i was uh, looking at it looks so small but when i zoomed in into this comet it looks pretty bright really good so it is setting already in the west so i could not take whole lot of pictures i took like 10 pictures and i stacked those pictures so when it comes back like in a month or so once it sets complete to the west and come back into the east i'll start taking pictures of this comet again so this comet so c2022 z3 so this comet c2022 e3 ztf we are going to take good pictures of this comet as this comet is getting bright let me show you how the comet is going to look in a time lapse as well as the stacked picture so if you are new to this channel i'll give you more updates on this comet so you need to click on that subscribe button so you can actually see all my updates thank you folks